Hi everyone, it's Magda from Fire, and today I'm going to show you Neo's new features. This will include AI Assistant, Tracing Floor Plan Options, Detach Clone, Individual Product Lighting in Renders, and DOM Lighting. Before I start explaining how AI Assistant works, I would like to let you know that Neo is available now on iPad and iPad Pro. To start using the AI Assistant, click in the top right corner of your screen. Now click anywhere in your project and start adding commands. For example, add Rob. Now in the bottom right corner, you can see the results. If you want to see more, you can click on Regenerate and choose the rock that will suit your needs. Now we can type in add sofa. Again, if you want to see more choices, you can click on regenerate. Now we will add a coffee table. We will switch to 3D now, and I will show you how the AI Assistant works in 3D. We can change the color of the sofa by writing a command. We can also change the color of the floor by adding the command change floor. You can type in as many commands as you want. And if you don't need your AI assistant anymore, just click on execute commands. Next available feature is a tracing floor plan option. In 2D, you can click on upload floor plan. Before you had to trace it yourself, but now you have an option to get it traced by our prior designers. You will get it delivered within a few hours. The cost is $5 per floor plan and the service is available Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. EST. Another feature is the touch clone. Before, when we cloned an item and we changed the texture of it, the same texture was applied to all cloned items. like in this example. Now, you can detach clone and you can change the textures individually. As you can see, the other product didn't change the texture. Now we will move to rendering machine where I can introduce you to individual product lighting and DOM lighting. If you click on lighting, and select the product lighting, we have new options. We have DOM lighting and overall product lighting. If you click that on, you can set your interior lighting from non to low, medium and high. Now you can choose all the lights that you added into your project. And they will appear on the left hand side. You can choose which light you want to have on or off. If you can locate the light, you can simply click on the compass icon and the light will highlight in green. So you know exactly with which light you're working. You can have that function switched on or off. Dome lighting will allow you to set intensity of the interior light when your render view is outside the room. Here, the DOM lighting is off and on this render is on. You can see a slight variation between the intensity of the light in your interior. Hope all the features that I've shown you today will make your work easier and faster and you will enjoy using Fire Neo. Happy designing!